Nature World started out as a concept and began based on a collective of friends before it materialized in 2011 as a lifestyle brand, self-described on their just-launched website as a true subculture brand for the modern jams. As of 2013, it's since grown into a burgeoning apparel label, backed by its two main founders, musicians Antoine and André Martel, and including a collective with Sad Andy, Cities Aviv, Froskies, and more. They're currently stocked at the Harajuku premium shop Rad Lounge and New York boutique The Good Company, which carries NW alongside brands from Fucked to MMVIII to etc. Tacoma. Literally no initial pun intended, but its obvious nature world, despite only being a year old, is in good company. The nature world graphic body of work is sometimes harsh, and often challenging, with nods to punk, old-school hip-hop, and working-class motifs, though its common thread is deeply rooted in friendship. Case in point, their new exclusive gender-subverting collaboration with storied LA artist Callie Thornhill DeWitt's elusive collective WSSF Some readers who don't know Callie might recognize his work in Off-White's Moving Still collection. When I sat down with Andre, Antoine, and Sad Andy at Zanku Chicken in East Hollywood for our interview and asked them about the LAABF exclusive collaboration, instead of answering with design cues, they described the nature of their friendship with the artist. That personal approach and sense of communal trust is really the infrastructure behind Nature World, and why they're the brand to watch in 2015. Read our interview below, and find info about where to get the collaborative capsule at the end. Alina, Nature World's been around since 2011? Andre, yeah, the physical manifestation of the clothing brand. It's something we've been building since 2011. It originally started as a part collective, so everyone involved was doing music or just friends. But the idea for it was there, we just couldn't manifest it yet, until about two years ago. We finally got to a point where we could actually do a clothing brand. It started coming together like that. Can you describe the collective in 2011 and what it was? Antoine, us as friends, it was just hanging out and doing music stuff. I think it just basically was like a more hip-hop thing, where we would just hang out and record music. But we weren't hip-hop kids from the jump. The actual brand came about since I was talking to our manager and he was like, yo, you should do a clothing brand. And I was like, yo, I should do a clothing brand. And then that's when I was like, yo, Andre, do you want to this clothing brand together? So we started the clothing brand together. My manager, Chase, he's like our main investor in the company and it's just been going really good. We've been trying to keep it more uniform and stuff. Our target audience is more of like a person that's not really a streetwear person, but more of an alternative person, I guess. A person that's out of culture. I'll tell you off the jump, I'm not a fucking artist or designer. Andre, yeah, just coming from our background and what we like as individuals. I know I speak for myself but, low-key, everybody else that is involved in it, it's always been one foot in the punk scene and one foot in the streets. Hip-hop, streetwear, graffiti, and everything like that, but at the same time, we fuck with punk shit, goth shit, actively. Almost everybody in Nature World was in a band at some point or involved in the punk scene on that level. But at the same time, like he said, we're doing hip-hop, rapping, producing. So it's kind of like trying to find a balance and identify the things that match up within both of those things. I know how a lot of hardcore kids do graffiti, it bridges the gap. We want to do that visually to where you don't necessarily have to be a streetwear person to fuck with it. Or vice versa, you may not have to understand punk culture, but you could see something that we do that's more rooted in punk and it fits, it connects. Would you align yourself with any other brands that are around? Antoine, nah, I mean I don't think we align ourselves with brands and stuff, it's not like we dislike anyone, I think it's just that we're doing our own thing. Andre, we're doing our own things because, right now, we need to do our own thing, put our best foot forward, basically, we just fuck with each other because fucking with each other is what got us here in the first place. Who's in the Nature World Collective? Andre, there's the artists in there, so obviously we got Antoine, Sad Andy, I also rap, but I'm deeper into building the brand or whatever. Froskies who is one of our main producers and then we've got Cities Aviv and he also raps and produces and he does a lot of design stuff too. 
So those are the main players within the group, but then we have a lot of people outside. One of the main things that we push with the idea of our brand is celebrating friendship, an idea that comes from the punk scene, just a network of friends. But as far as the visible players are, that's who it is. The name of the brand itself is me and Antoine dealing with the day-to-day -day or curating the visual aesthetic for it. Are all of your designs a collaborative effort? Andre, yeah, Antoine's like an idea machine and then I'll be the filter, how it starts off. He'll come up and be like, it'd be cool if we did this. I get it and I translate it, I shoot it back to him, he shoots back, it was back and forth before because he was out in San Jose, so it was a lot of emailing and phone calling. Now, it's a lot quicker, it's more focused and you can kind of see how the brands become more focused over time. But originally, it was me and him and we still pretty much do that. But now, we kind of have the luxury of being able to work with other people and help them help us to develop. Because I'll tell you off the jump, I'm not a fucking artist or designer. But you are the one that is designing all these? Andre, yeah, me and him and we have a few other people that we're starting to work with and now we're doing the thing with Kali, DeWitt, so. Do you guys want to talk a little bit more about the collaboration with WSSF? When we asked you guys for Cali DeWitt's description, he said, WSSF is a shadowy squad of perverts based in Los Angeles, but with members crawling all over the earth. Who is WSSF? To you? Andre, WSSF is very mysterious to me, but they're at the forefront of the new art movement that's brewing in LA in my opinion. They do a lot of zines and apparel but a lot of it is very murky to me and I think they like to thrive in that shadowy kind of mystique. I'm not very familiar with Hank, and to be honest, I'm not even sure if it's limited to him and Cali. Sometimes I feel like there may be dozens of them. But I can say they are one of the few collectives that I feel like is actually doing something challenging at the moment. Like stuff that makes me uncomfortable. How did you guys start talking and how did you come together? Antoine, I met Callie the first time I played in New York and then I met him through my friend Jason, Adam Baker, who does Ormaliska. He came to one of my shows and this was right when Callie did that hoax video, then he did a couple videos for me. I don't know how we were like, we should do a collaboration with him. I think at first we wanted to get designs from him, and then we were like, yo, we might as well just do a line. Andre, it originally was supposed to be a little bit larger than what it ended up being, but just due to time constraints and everything we had to focus it down a little bit. But we just wanted to come with him and let him interpret what we do in his eyes. What's the concept behind the collaboration? Andre, the concept behind it is just sexuality. I think the theme is just taking men out of their dominant gender role and switching the roles, having women be more dominant. Antoine, the thing is that most people who buy our clothing are guys. You're making them wear really emasculating clothing. It's always been one foot in the punk scene and one foot in the streets. Can you tell me more about the boot logo? Andre, laughs. I was just sitting there one day and I was looking at old punk flyers and, at the time, listening to a lot of hard-bodied skinhead shit. And I was just like, man, the boot itself is very powerful imagery. Especially for punk, people sing songs about it and just talk about boots and what have you. I seen a boot on an old flyer and right then and there I put it together. I found it off an old punk flyer and then mocked it up or whatever and sent it over to him and it just clicked right away. It's been the most consistent thing. I was just fucking with that, I didn't think it would be something that people would identify us with. But it's one of those things where it happened kind of by accident, it's low-key been becoming the imagery. So that's one design, can you tell me about another design from the collaboration that you guys are doing? Andre, to touch back on gender roles, we have one where there's a woman who is basically emasculating a man and has him in bondage gear in that position where the man's kneeled down. It's just something that I want to push with Nature World because I feel like a lot of brands are very male-centric, especially with the imagery, and I don't fuck with that. I want to make stuff that anyone can wear, but specifically, I want to reach out to women and make hard-bodied shit that they can wear too.